Hello, and welcome to another video. You know me as Phoenix, and I just want to get started by going over to the Division HQ to show you a couple of the updates before I show you something down there for something that we're going to be doing out in the farming district. So I'm going to head over to the HQ, and this is a really short clip, but I want to show you some progress because, oh yeah, we're, um, we made quite a bit. Let's just... Let's just head over, and I will answer Tev on the way there. First things first, uh, the portal was here, but we moved it forward a bit because if we head on through, we have another portal now, and it's just at the end of the tunnel. And the tunnel hasn't entirely been converted, but this is the design that I came up with, with those sea lanterns in the back. And what we're eventually going to have it to switch to is the water is just glowed or lit up by sea lanterns, but then the water just flows down and it's still lit up and the entire thing is waterlogged. So that's one thing that changed. Another thing, the path isn't quite a path anymore because the aquarium is under here. We have some turtles. This is personal storage now. This is mine. This is Trips, Slayer, Demo, Sloth, and Endy. Um, we have some villagers, which is really exciting, and uh, they're somewhere. Demo moved them somewhere. I don't know where. But he's digging this out because this is the new bulk storage system, whereas it was going to be up there. But I don't know where he moved the villagers. But anyway, um, there's a chicken cooker with quite a bit of chicken if i do say so myself i'll just take some of this um a cow cooker which doesn't quite work and the elephant in the room the big hole in the ground with all of these chests filled with stuff this is what we've been working on and this is why i haven't been at my base doing stuff for the last four days because we've been digging this out. It's a 41 by 41 hole with the blocks or the walls dug out so we can decorate the walls. But yeah, I built this. I built this. Oh, I threw chicken on the ground unintentionally. That wouldn't have been good, even though there's a lot of it and feathers. But there's wheat here. Oh, you see it working. You can see it working. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's the update for the Division Headquarters. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing an episode in here making bulk storage silos like I have in my Industrial Dome. So, yeah, I also earlier today got two shulker boxes of sand to smelt up to put in the bedrock. Because as of now, I'm not going to jump down there, but as of now, it's just holes everywhere. But Demo wants to put sand, or not sand, glass into the floor to make it look all nice but yeah um there's still stuff here uh there's still stuff in these chests um yeah you can see but yeah that's the update for the nether or yeah the nether i was reading slayers stuff uh for the hq um this is going to be where we put our, put all our farms if you see future farm area yeah, this is where all our farms are growing, like our cactus farm. We're going to have an iron farm eventually, I think. I believe so. But, yeah, I'm going to head back to my base. I'm going to go into the industrial dome, and I'm going to show you one of the projects that we're going to be working on today. Oh, we also have a penta beacon. Um, that's pretty important, and it each we each have a color. Like, this is Endy's, this is Sloth, this is Demo, this is mine, and this is Slayer. Um, Trip doesn't have one. Because there's only five, and he was the only one that wasn't online during that day that we got these beacons. So, yeah. Pretty soon, we're going to be filling up after um, Demo gets this area figured out. Um, we're going to get fill this with water, and we're going to put a bunch of fish, which are over here. We're going to have, we have a bunch of tropical fish, some cod, and puffer fish. That we're gonna put in here and pretty this area up and that's demo's job because he's the he's the um decorator of the group 
So yeah, I have been rambling on for four and a half minutes. And there's Sloth. I have been, like I said, I'm gonna, I've been rambling on for four and a half minutes. I'm going to head back to my base, and I'm going to show you what we're going to be working on today. I will be right back. So this is what we're going to be working on. To, and one of the things we're going to be working on, this is just a small side project. Um, it's a thing, because iron golems don't take fall damage. So what I can do is I can have these blocks pushed out. They will be out of range, so it will continuously spawn golems. And... I will get a bunch of iron golems built up, and then I can kill them, and I can get more iron because I have looting three, and I can also get iron golem heads, which is also a plus, but the thing is, is I can't have this like this unless I would build like a glass capsule where you swim into, but most of this is going to be underwater, that's why I have to use observers, pistons, and update and stuff, but yeah, so I'm going to work on this, I'm just going to take mine all of this up. And take it to the iron farm. I also have this little elevator up here. If you didn't see it in the redstone video, that will be on the end screen. Piston translocation is back, and I'm the one that came up with it. As well as, well as Sloth, I will give him credit. Well deserved. But yeah, so I'm going to mine all this up. I'm going to take it over to the iron golem farm, or the iron capsule. I probably just going to end up building it because I do have more plans for this episode that I want to carry out. And yeah, I will see you when I get over there. Um, I'm also going to need this as well as glass and I don't want that to be down there to despawn. All of my redstone is in there. But yeah, I'm going to head over to the farm. I will modify it and then I'm just going to show you what, did I, what I ended up doing because um, it's just it's base it'd just be boring to watch to watch me build it. I'm not gonna use the door. I'm just gonna ender pull through here. But I did hint at doing this, so it's not like it's news or anything. But I'm gonna do that and then I will meet you with the finished product. So here's the completed system and it's a lot simpler than what I had before. Now I just have redstone going into repeaters and this is how you activate it. But now all you, the thing is, is if you're up here, they can hit you. But if you're down here, you, oh, I guess not. You feel like, oh, oh yeah, I'm just lagging really bad. I'm going to take damage on this. I, I don't like the amount of lag that I have. But you can just go like this and you can hit on them. I'm scared that I'm going to get hit and just die spontaneously because of lag. Yeah, I can stand here and I'm safe. But, yeah, it's it's finicky mainly because I'm lagging and I have really bad internet right now. But he's very quickly going to die. And if I get an iron golem head, which I figured I wouldn't. But yeah, then you could, there's, there's drops there. You can just boop. Or I can pick them up. Oh my god, are you guys seeing this? This lag is awful for me. But I could theoretically just go like this and then... Yeah. And now it's automatic kill. But the thing is, I could leave this like this. And it would be fine because it's out of range of spawning. But I I prefer to have automatic iron. So yeah. Sorry about that, if you heard that. But the next thing on our on my list is... Um, I don't really want to start a melon and pumpkin farm because that's going to be a week-long project, or a couple days project, and I only have a couple hours. So what I want to do is, I realized, um, working with concrete and making it into concrete instead of powder is really tedious. So what I'm going to do is down in the industrial dome, there is an area that I can't really fit much of anything in it. Oh my gosh. Did I? Okay, I just didn't click it. I thought I was lagging that bad. Um, yes, that's still broken. 
it's just always going to be broken, I'm convinced. But there is an area in the industrial dome, in the little levels area, that I don't really have space for much of anything. Because it just cuts into something. That's this level right here. I'm thinking, um, like maybe on this side over here, I could make a concrete maker. Like a concrete mixer or something. And I just dropped my phone. Um, but yeah, I could do that, and I'm gonna just, I think I'm just gonna look up a tutorial, and this is just gonna be a couple of, like, odd job things around the base this episode, because I don't have much time. But, um, yeah, I did clean that up in the last clip. But yeah, I think on this level, I'm going to put that, and I'm going to, like, change the floor over to this. Uh, this is light gray terracotta, isn't it? Yes, I believe so. But that just fell. Yeah, uh, light gray terracotta. So I'm going to transfer up to all to that. I think I'm just going to make it. I'm going to look I have to look up a tutorial because I don't know how to build one. But then I'm just going to add like a small storage system probably over in this wall like just have like a a chest somewhere. But yeah, I think I'm just going to get I'm going to get that built and I will be right back with you with the finished product. So I thought this could be the perfect opportunity to actually test this because um I actually need to make some gray concrete. So basically what you do is you just hold down both buttons at the same time. And I should be getting... Yep, you can see, look at my offhand. It's going up, the number is going up and down. And um, you do pick up some of it. But yeah, this, is, this thing's great. I just went... Holy crap, it's really fast too. But I just needed some gray concrete for the accents that go around the lava lighting. And I'm really confused because I was told that fire spread is on, but you can see the wood up there. But I might change that, may, might change the staircase to just be all stone brick stairs because fire spread. But then like these aren't catching and like nothing's catching on fire. And I don't really know. But now the last thing that I have to work on on this area is something is going to go over here eventually, by the way. But I just don't know what yet. I don't really have anything that could fit there. That I need. But this area is nice. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. But this area is quite nice. So, oh, my gosh. This isn't going to work because I'm, I'm lagging too much. Yeah, that sucks. But um, I just need to work on this transition area right here. So, I just need to go like this and mine this out. And then, oh, ooh, problem. Not very much of a problem, but still problem because I'm going to have to place that banner down. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to get this done and I might just make, I might just be like so original and just make this solid red, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm going to come up with something and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Uh, there goes the banner, of course. So if I just go up here, you can see a little bit of what I got, what I've got going on. I'm not entirely happy with it, but I honestly don't know what to do. And Sloth is just messing with the Tristan Pan's locator. Um, ah, stop falling, jeez. Um, if I go up here, I'm not entirely happy with it, but this is the ceiling. I tried to use chiseled. Um, there's, the, we did that in the last clip, but yeah, this is, this area done, like, this top area is, like, done, and now we just need to, I already know what I'm gonna put down, or down on this layer, which means that the, um, pens locator is gonna have to move, but, yeah, this area, I know exactly what I'm gonna use for, but that's gonna be another week-long project, probably in a couple weeks, I'm going to keep tweaking this and messing with this, trying to figure out what I want to do with it. But until then, I really don't know what to do. And I might even, like, change this, like, take out, like, this part that you can't see and replace it with something. Like, I could, like, maybe grab some of these blocks and put them here and it kind of... But, like, see, that just doesn't look right. Like, it, I don't know. This area needs a lot of tweaking. Stop suffocating. Oh, he's trying to figure out what blo what um, blocks can be solid. 
I just said that. Um, trying to make it better. Good job. But yeah, I'm gonna continue tweaking this. So this will this wall will slowly change over time, and then what goes what I decide for up here is probably gonna end up going there, and it's it's a whole thing. But there's a couple more things that I want to do around the base. Oh, a couple more smaller projects. Um, I need to sort out my inventory. I wanted to replace these, so I can do that now. Replace these with stone brick stairs. I knew there was lava there, but it still kind of freaked me out. Oh... <sighs> I would have been completely fine because I recently got um, new leggings, but jeez, it's still falling into lava. But um, I'll replace the rest of those later. But yeah, I just need to figure out a couple other, like how I'm going to go about doing a couple other things. But I'm going to clean out my inventory and I will be right back with you. So I think to liven up this area a little bit, what I want to do is grab some just blocks. Oh, yeah, I did show you this. Just grab some blocks, and I want to build, like, a mini wall. Like, um, just around, like, just a sketchy little wall. Um, kind of around the, the ruins. Just to, like, liven up the place a little bit. Because it is kind of, um, like... It's bland out here, but I don't want to go into this area too much because I do have a, a plan um, for, the, for that area, but I'll get into that later. But for now, all I want to do is not have too much clumped up. I just want to like build up a wall a little bit and not something too fancy or um, too big or anything. But just something small to, like, liven up the area. And I have some mossy brick here as well. I can throw in, like, one of those there. And maybe instead of this, have a mossy brick there. And it's underwater. It's really not useful because, oh, oh, there's a wall. I'm over it. <laughs> So, ow, what was that? That was peculiar. Anyway, I just want to build up a small wall. Um, this is probably going to end up getting moved, but I don't know where yet. So I might just disable it and then keep its items in like one a chest in there or something to put it back up later. But I want to bring the wall like around and up towards like the sand pile. So I think I'm just going to make a little bit of progress on this. And I will be right back to show you where it's going. And, like, I also have, like, stairs and stuff to, like, break it up a little bit. But, yeah, like I said, um, gonna do this, and I'll be right back. So I decided to put one of the walls over at my entrance dome because it's, it's like, kind of encompassing it. And I imagined, like, oh, if this was, like, um, if the wall was complete... The wall would like go like this and then around like this, come back around, up that way, down here. But I only built bits and pieces of it, and I think I'm gonna put another piece of the wall up here. And once I get this, I'll transfer to sand, which is something that I need to do really soon. I'm gonna go up there, up to where you can see up there. Everything. But I'm really happy with this. Like I'm I'm surprised. I surprised myself with how well this turned out. Now, one thing, these two, this one and that one over there, look a lot better than this one over here. Because I was working, and this just seems too bulky to me. I don't know why or what it is. It just, it's, it's too bulky. And what I might do is just tear it all down, basically, and just move it so it's only on this flat area. And... But that'll be a later project. That's an in-between episodes thing. But I'm not sure how much time I have left today. Um, I still have to edit it, and it's 9 o'clock. Um, but yeah, I have to edit it. And this is this area is just feels so much more lively now. Like, even... Like, 
there is nothing really missing, but just having that kind of encompassing it, and then having this shipwreck with these sand piles, like, I don't know. It just, it just feels so much better now. Um, but yeah, I don't, pretty soon I want to add more details to the ship, like make it, um, probably change the wood to a different one, probably replace the spruce with dark oak or something. Um, but I'm not sure about that yet. I will work out logistics, probably in a creative testing world. But like I said, I don't know how much time I have left. I was originally going to build a melon and pumpkin farm, I think I said at the beginning of the episode, but then things got out of hand and I procrastinated basically and I ran out of time. So I can no longer do that. But we got a decent amount done. I mean, not really, but, um, enough for an episode, I guess. I'm going to see how much time I have left, and I'll be right back with you once, probably, to show you or tell you what we're doing, if I am doing anything at all. And, like I, um, predicted, that is unfortunately the end of today's episode, and I am finishing today's episode in this amazing small little camper built by Papa Kincaid himself. I requested that he build one down at the bottom of the ocean, and I think it, it's really nice. But, um, I, this is, like, probably the least productive episode that I've had in a really long time, and I don't exactly know why. Like, we didn't, we did a couple small things. I planned on doing a big thing, and this is a Saturday episode, so I'm supposed to make progress. But, anyway, um, let me know what you thought about today's episode, even if it, there wasn't that much progress. But, um... Leave a like on the video if you did like it, and let me know down in the comment section ideas for future episodes, because, like, I have plans and ideas, but they're going to take more time than I have. So if you have any ideas for stuff that you would like to see um, me do on the server, then let me know. I could do collabs. I haven't done one of those in a short bit. Wait, the last episode was a collab. Never mind. Um, never mind about that. But I could... I can do pretty much anything on the server. I could collab. I could, if you have any ideas for anything that I could build, um, a more chillaxed episode maybe, but anything. Just let me know what you want to see. So, um, yeah, and if you really liked it and you want more content just like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a notification and you see every upload and... But anyway, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.